Dr. Jidu Radha Krishna. I work for the Department of Emergency Medicine of KMC Mangalore. Today, I would first start by thanking our entire police force headed by Dr. Anupam Agarwal for having such a wonderful event from 11th to 17th of this month along with KMC Mangalore headed by our dear Dean uh, Dr. Unni, our Pro VC Dr. Dilip and our Regional CEO Mr. Sagir. The whole team has come together that is the police force and the KMC Mangalore have come together and had an excellent you know varieties of program from 11th to 17th to create some awareness on road safety week. This is nothing but we had uh, you know we went onto the road we had some stage program we had some road shows we had uh, you know some competitions we had some awareness talks in this all these seven days and it was in the response was really really good this year marks the 35th year of the road safety week you know celebrations or awareness week 11 to 17th of every year of jan uh, it's been you know uh, called the road safety week according to the data what we have more than 85000 people die on indian roads every year our idea is to reduce the amount of death number of deaths happening because of the road safety road uh, uh, regard by creating awareness about the road safety and also educate people but even if accident happens what to do and what not to do now KMC Mangalore has taken up this initiative of educating people not only on the seven days but a series of events through which goes throughout the year right from the medical college right from the you know dental college right from the physiotherapy college right from the corporate building uh, hospitals we have many initiatives uh, you know taken to prevent this road safety uh, road traffic accidents i would like to elaborate few of those uh, road safety you know awareness programs what we contact every month the first thing is the cpr program and the first aid and the pre hospital care program what we do here is we go to the public and we train them what has to be done and mainly what not to be done at the time of you know is an accident or at a time of emergency so that we can save more lives and they reach the hospital in a safer you know better way rather than really you know non salvageable way so far we have trained more than 10000 people in this program only in mangalore the other unique program what we have is called the teddy bear clinic here what we do is uh, we go to the school and get the kids trained the kindergarten kids trained or get them used to the medical equipments and the ambulance so that when an emergency strikes they call for help or they don't get scared because of the sound of the ambulance or you know, looking at the medical equipments this is a unique program so far we have gone through more than 1500 to 2000 kids then we have various awareness talks you know given by our consultants in various social medias then we have various research programs to prevent these accidents done by our uh, you know our uh, students and our staffs so that how we can prevent these accidents and what is the most commonest cause of accidents in indian roads and one thing which i would like to highlight is there's an excellent study done by roshan nilaya school they have highlighted saying that we always think that okay you know uh, drunken driving is the most commonest cause of accident actually the study says that Drunken driving is not the most commonest cause. The most commonest cause is reckless driving. Fast riding is the most commonest cause of accidents. Not wearing seat belts, not wearing you know helmet is killing people. This is what the study says. Now we know what we are supposed to do. Then we have something called first responder appreciation. Nowadays, if you see an accident, previously when we see an accident, what happens? We are really scared to go and approach them. What happens then? We are worried about the police. We are worried about the hospitals. We are worried about the law. What happens if we respond and someone catches us and asks us various questions? Next day, we will put send a police case. So to prevent, to cut that myth. So what we have done is, when someone responds and rescues someone from the road and brings them to the hospital, we'll appreciate them by you know giving them a certificate, thank them by giving a certificate or a small first aid box and say thank you for helping us to saving lives. 
these are few initiatives which we have taken the whole of mangrove campus has taken so that we can respond faster and save more lives now whatever we do whatever you know awareness program we create without your help nothing is going to be successful so the request to all of us all the citizens is please please adhere to the road safety road safety rules wear seat belts wear helmets take precautions start on time from home that is one thing we have to keep in mind the discipline starts from home if we are able to start on time from home that means if your work if your work starts at 8 am in the 8 am you please leave at least by 7:30 from home so that you don't speed up for your work and then you don't ride fast towards your work don't go fast at this time even if you're late to work please go slow so that you know you leave the next day to you no know, more longer and we can save more lives end of the day the whole idea is to prevent loss of human lives injury prevention community community engagement and promoting safe road practices thank you all have a nice day